and we're back. Thank you for being here. There's a topic that's been kind of on my back burner to do on this channel for a while, but I knew that speaking about it was going to be rather taxing and carry a certain amount of risk of, well, losing followers. <laughs> but going forward, it's going to be important to talk about this and might as well do it now, okay? Some of you may well remember that I grew up in church, and I spoke about a certain member of the church that I grew up in named Rex, okay? And I'll grant that I learned a lot from him, and those lessons I still carry with me, all right? But I can't say it was all good. Some of the things I was taught and some of the modes of thought that I was basically groomed <laughs> to have, that were basically ingrained into me, they're just not healthy. And Rex taught a class which I was basically encouraged to take when I was a teenager. I was like 17 or something, okay? And it was an evangelism class. This is the trophy I got. Robert Mundy, soul winner. And it's been pointed out recently, through a video I saw online actually, that people who grow up evangelical, grow up with the attitude, or the belief instilled in them, that it's their job to evangelize, it's their job to save people, it's their job to break chains, to basically free people, okay? And when I left the church and eventually became atheist, I still had that belief ingrained into me. I didn't realize it until very recently, but even before I came to that realization, I was seeing the uselessness of trying to reach people. And there was something in the book by Neil Gaiman, Gaiman? I don't know called American Gods, where the main character, and it's at the very beginning, so no spoilers, was in prison and he learned a lesson from one of the inmates. He, he said to him, do your own time. Don't do anyone else's time for them. And basically that lesson, the lesson I learned from the video, the lesson I learned from just looking out into the world and then evaluating myself, what I was doing, is that I don't have to free people from their mental prisons. I don't have to evangelize. I don't have to reach hearts and minds and break them out of their chains. It's not my job. And if they want to stay there, that's their time. I will be talking more about things like Christianity and religious beliefs on this channel, but it's definitely not my main focus, as you might have been able to gather so far. But I think this is something that really needs to be said because I see a lot of different organizations, one in particular, which I may have made mention of in the past, indirectly, who are essentially atheist or agnostic or don't acknowledge God, but that underlying evangelism or that evangelical mode of thought just sticks with them and they latch on to these people who were in the church or in any religion really that teaches evangelism they latch on to these groups and think that they have to evangelize and it's ridiculous i mean we don't have to put that burden on ourselves I've even seen it, like, for a long time on Facebook and things like that. I was in groups, atheist groups, right? And I saw that the atheist groups and most people in them were using a lot of the same logical fallacies and a lot of the same cognitive biases and thinking in black and white terms as I saw the religious people do. And then it's like, why would I want to be a part of your club either? <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. But I've realized that so much of my sense of self-worth, so much of my identity has 
man, hinged on how good I was at evangelizing. So I finally reached a point where I've let myself be free from that and I'll let people do their own time. I see a lot of channels on YouTube and I've watched a lot of their videos. They have good content whose entire aim is preaching atheism, okay? And in every case that I've seen, they grew up evangelical. And I don't think that's a coincidence. There's a running pattern behind it. So, even though I definitely see the need for that kind of work, it's not something that I'm going to focus on. It's not going to be my main focus or what I direct my attention at on this channel, in my life, on other forms of social media, any of it, because I can be free from that. And I say, having come out of that mode of thought, I've done my time. Thank you for listening. You're valued and appreciated. Love and gratitude. Done.